Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, just fresh out of bed here. I really want to, um, I haven't made a planetary update for a while, and I thought I would talk about the amazing time that we're in, which is enabling a merging of starseed and human genetics that has never been possible before on the earth. And so it's an amazing time. In conception, when the sperm and the egg are joining together as one, there is this moment where there's a coupling that's occurring between the egg and the sperm, right? And these amino acids in the amino acid chain of the codons are matching up egg to egg to sperm across the entire central meridian. And this is what occurs during conception. And what I'm experiencing right now is a conception of a new life form in that my star seed genetics are starting to match up in tandem with my human, the um, uh, ancient earth and ancient starlight beginning to recombine. And this has never been, well, this hasn't been possible since the fall, right? Since we've had this architecture of dominion over the divine feminine, it has blocked the source codes from being able to come into earth. And I think we could think of these source codes as the ancient starlight, right? That many of us on the earth come from planets and have many lifetimes where we've ascended into the starlight love. And we came back to the earth to serve in the upliftment of humanity through delivering these source codes. And I'm one of these beings. I come from Andromeda. It's my home world is very liquid. And I swim through dimensions of color and light and sound. This is why sound and music is so much about how I bring these source codes to the earth to help weave the bridge into the new earth through these sound light codes, also called the Sophianic codes of the divine feminine masculine merge. There's a mermaid picture behind me. It's kind of, um, I don't know how high I can get to see it, but it has the masculine swimming to the, or is he swimming? No, he's standing on the shore on a rock. And the deep, deep, deep feminine is coming from that oceanic divine love, right? We could think of it as coming from an ocean of stars. She's rising to his, to him on the land and together they meet. And I actually think this is a perfect metaphor for the merging of the human and the starseed genetics. So I think I'm gonna hold the camera over there a little more. As we see that picture, as we see that human coming to the shore to receive, the masculine coming to the shore to receive the deep feminine, we can see this as a new life form that is being born. A new life form that carries a matchup of starseed and human every step of the way, right? So this life form increases in complexity the more genetic code combines with itself, right? But it doesn't drop in frequency. And that's the trick is to increase in complexity without dropping in frequency. That is the building of the bridge to the new earth. And I'm experiencing this very tangibly with my music partner. 
because her name is Alder Walking Tree. <laughs> Hi, Cece. How are you, sweetie? Nice to see you. I'm talking a bit about the merging of starseed and human genetics and um, how I was showing my mermaid picture up here, how the man is coming to the divine feminine in the ocean, right? And how this merging of the human coming to the shore to receive the starseed codes. And I think I told you that I'm from Andromeda. It's my home world. And it's a unity world where we swim through dimensions of liquid light and sound. Um, that's why it was very difficult to come to the earth and awaken these genetics here. You know, it's taken 33 years of pretty much giving my life to the process of penetrating the veils that would allow me to embody here. And, um, that started in 1983, right after we finished high school. Actually, I think you were still in your junior year and I was in my, my senior year, right? Um, October 26th of my first semester at UCLA, right? Was when everything went black and my whole life started over again to, to penetrate into the underworld, to let these genetics begin to embody and it's taken 30 yeah 33 yeah 33 years and only now is the earth frequency high enough to allow the starseed genetics to walk hand in hand with the human and my friend just had a baby like in that room right next to mine there's a newborn baby and there's a newborn baby in my genome right which is combining the merging of the star seed and the human is just at its inception right now. So it's kind of um, a newborn experience for my spirit. And um, my music partner, um, I don't know if you know her, I should show you her on Facebook, but her name, her spirit name is Alder Walking Tree. And she loves trees so connected to the trees and my spirit name is Analea star dancer so it's like we're merging the trees and the stars and um i've been feeling for a while like there's something more that we're supposed to bring to the children through our puppet shows and our music but i didn't know what it was and last night we just really went deep into this place of asking, what are we, what are we doing? And then we realize that we're merging the stars and the earth. And in a sense, weaving a bridge to help humanity transition to the new earth. Almost like a stairway to heaven. But that heaven is on earth. Uh, in a new earth. So... All of a sudden, I was like, wow, we're not just singing, you know, the wheels on the bus go round and round or rainbow, what a pretty sight, all these children's songs. And But what we're doing is bringing this new fabric of starlight love through song and helping everyone who experiences the music to be lifted and prepared and in a sense building the bridge in their genetic code so that they can find their way to the new earth. And so instead of feeling super sad, I feel super excited this morning, but it was a couple weeks now of just refusing to do music in this way, not knowing how to proceed. And uh, now I'm back on the horse with a whole new horse. <laughs> I'll show you a picture of my kitty. My kitty's right here. Madeline. Say hello, Madeline. Hello, Madeline. Oops, that was her fur. I'm trying to get her face. Madeline, say oops. <laughs> Come here, I'm sorry. She hates to be disturbed. 
She's like a princess kitty queen. Come here. Who's coughing up hairballs. Ay, ay, ay. We princess star queens cough up a lot of hairballs on Earth. <laughs> All right. Many blessings to anyone who watches this retrospectively. Big vibrational shifts. You know, so much turmoil and so much challenge, but also so much new life and new frequency that's enabling us to build this bridge to the new earth. All right. Much love. Bye.